Hello everyone and welcome back to the corner. Today, continuing in our series of spotlights on individual monsters, I, I was thinking, you know, I've been the monsters I've been doing up till now have all been really good for your first Giants team. So after doing Shannon, after doing Bella, after doing Rama, I feel like, you know, I have to do this next one because he ties it all together, he makes it all work. So I am, of course, talking about Bernard, the Wind Griffin. So Bernard is another support monster, much like Bella and Shannon. Bernard is very useful in helping get your uh, team extra turns, as well as weakening the bosses that you're fighting. Uh, so let's look at his skills so that we can talk about you know exactly what he does. So the first skill is just a damage skill. The damage scales with his attack speed, and you know this can be really good if you get him up to like uh, 240, 250 attack speed using grinds and get him some high crit damage. Then this move can be absolutely devastating. But until you get to that point, it's really not worth focusing on his damage abilities. Really, we want to tank him up so that his other two abilities can shine for us. So his second skill is Body Slam. It attacks the target, and it weakens both their attack and their defense. So they're going to do less damage, and they're going to take more. Uh, and his third skill increases the attack bar of all allies by 30%, and increases attack speed for two turns. So he's going to be giving you extra attack bar, and he's going to increase everyone's speed so everyone gets more turns out of it. It is on a three-turn cooldown, it says. Uh, I don't think that's quite correct, because, yeah, fully skilled, I which this might be taken into account. But fully skilled, it's about three turns. All right, and then his leader skill is uh, increases attack power of wind allies. So that can be useful for the team that we're kind of putting together, too, because except for Bella, this whole team has been wind so far. So let's go back and look at his stats so we can talk about what kind of stats he should have for what you're using him for. So first off is health. As you can see, he's got a very high base health for a natural three-star monster. Uh, he's got 10,380, which makes it very easy to get him up to the 15k mark uh, to be able to do reliably survive Giants B10. Uh, attack, I wouldn't worry about attack. I've got him on attack got him on some attack runes because I met the threshold for everything else that I wanted so I figured I'd give him a little extra damage and then defense you really want him at about 800 defense but with a base defense of 703 if you've got a five star rune in your slot three and you get that rune up to plus 12 then that right there is going to have you at 800 defense you don't need anything else so but extra is always good uh, it just helps you survive that much more and then of course with him being such an important monster for helping your team get extra turns and for weakening the boss that you're fighting he needs to have a lot of speed you, as you can see mine's got 200 speed flat um, I would aim to have about 180 with him but more is always better 200 is ideal for what you would do on most things um, and then accuracy you want him to have 40 to 50 percent accuracy I've got 42 so I'm looking pretty good a little more probably wouldn't hurt me but too much more isn't necessary. So let's look at what he's got. So I've got him on Swift Focus. Uh, let's see, I've got him... Okay, I've got him on Speed for Slot 2, HP for Slot three, uh, slot 4. And as you can see, I haven't even maxed out that rune, so he could have even more HP than he does now. He's already a 17k. And then I've got Attack on that rune. I could max that one too and probably give him another 80 or 90 attack power, if not more. So that's how I have his stats where they're at. Here's his other runes, so you can kind of just view those substats. So again, overall, Bernard is a really useful monster. Now, unlike most other monsters that you can switch over to Violent, I would actually leave Bernard on Swift. I would not take him off Swift runes for anything, just because he needs that speed. All right, You want to make sure he goes first, especially if you're using him in PvP. Uh, when you get up to the higher tier PvP, it really seems like whoever's Bernard is faster, that's the one that's going to win. Alright, uh, other runes. You know, again, I wouldn't take him off Swift. You can put him on Focus if you need extra accuracy. Uh, you can put him on Guard or Energy if you need a little extra survival. I wouldn't worry about Revenge or Blade at all. 
He's got a high base HP, which is what shield works off of, so you could put shield uh, runes on him too. Uh, you could put endure on him for resistance, but that's really... You don't need to worry about resistance too much for most of what you're doing right now. Um, if you want to take him into PvP, will runes are great. Uh, or you can give him a leader skill rune set for his two set. So that it's like having a little extra leader skill in your party. Alright. But that's Bernard. That's about all I have to say about him right now. Uh, he's super easy to get. The game actually gives him to you for free when you're doing the new quest that they just introduced under challenges. Uh, I don't think he's under this one. No, no, that's a mystical. Is it this one over here? He's under one of these. No, that's Kona. Samurai. I want to find it for you so you know what to look for here. Okay, so it must be under here. Money, money. Sorry I didn't find him for you earlier, guys. Should have done this before I started uh, filming, huh? Giants? Ah, there he is. So when you clear the third floor on Giants, you get a free Bernard already awakened for you. So all you have to do is skill him, and you can farm skill ups for him over here at the Tamor Desert. So just farm the skill ups, uh, get him up to six star, and he will take care of you. Now, realistically, for Giants B10, you can actually leave him, leave him at 5-star if you want, as long as you've got good runes on him. Alright, now, that's all I've got to say on Bernard for now. So, until next time, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about the channel. And we will see you next time at the corner.